A nine-year-old girl, who we can name today as Olivia Pratt Corbell, has died following a shooting in Dovecot last night, Monday, the 22nd of August. And her family are absolutely devastated, inconsolable and heartbroken. Everyone that she met, they all fell in love with her. She left a mark on everyone that she met. And she may well have only been nine, but she packed a lot in them nine years. Firstly, my appeal is to the person responsible for this horrendous attack on a nine-year-old schoolgirl to recognise the pain and anguish that this has caused her family. I want that individual to hand themselves in. You know you've done wrong, so you need to own up. Like I've taught my kids, you do something wrong, you own up to it. I struggle to find the words to describe that individual and what they've done. We will come for you, we will identify you and we will bring you to justice. The people of Liverpool and Merseyside are known for their compassion and pulling together in times of crisis. And I know that our communities, people are wanting to help the family in any way possible. Being involved with this gunman and anything to do with this horrendous matter will leave a stain on you for life. I have no doubts that when you are charged, and you will be charged and convicted, that you'll be regarded with absolute disgust by your families, your friends and your communities. Your loyalty to this man is utterly misplaced and it will cost you. The Crown Prosecution Service has authorised Merseyside Police to charge Thomas Cashman, 34, from Grenadier Drive, West Derby, with the murder of nine-year-old Olivia Pratt Corbell, also the attempted murder of Joseph Nee and Cheryl Corbell on the 22nd of August. 2022. Cashman additionally has been charged with two counts of possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life. Our thoughts and condolences are with Olivia's family who have been torn apart. No mum, no dad, no sister, or brother should ever have to experience loss in this way. Our thoughts are with Olivia Pratt Corbell's family at this time.